Nicholas Sankowitz from Corpus Christi School in grade 6. My question is, how do you wash your hands with soap and water in space? How do we wash our hands? Nicholas, I brought something to answer your question. Look closely at the camera. You can see this. It is no rinse body bath. No rinse body bath. And it's a bag with a straw. So now let's demonstrate. Okay, it's time to get clean. I'm going to squirt some water out. So we have a big ball of water, and you put it on your hand. And now I've got water floating around on my hand. And so I wash my hands up with that. And then grab a towel. And dry them off. So that's how we do it. We use no rinse. It's a special type of slightly soapy water, so you don't need to have a, a bunch of fresh water afterwards. You squirt it, you float a ball of water in front of yourself, and then you just dry your towel. And when you're done, we just tuck our towel somewhere to let it air dry so that the evaporated water gets back into the space station and we can use that water again. So it works pretty well. Sort of like, um, maybe sort of like if you were on a sailboat and you needed it to get clean, you do it sort of the same way. Tech me from B-Town, Ontario asked, is it challenging to brush your teeth in space without getting toothpaste up your nose from weightlessness? Well, let, let's talk about how to brush your teeth in space. Standard toothbrush, nothing magical there. But we got a few different things. We don't have running water. You can't have a tap. You can't have a sink because water would flow everywhere. Uh, and, and so what do you do to wet your toothbrush and where do you spit afterwards? Those are the big questions. So uh, first we just fill up a water bag with water. And this is what we're going to put on our toothpaste. So let me get a ball of water here. There's a nice ball of water floating on the end. Shut off the straw very carefully. Okay, and get my toothbrush wet. Toothbrushes soak up water nicely. So now I have a nice wet toothbrush. Good. So I'm partway there. Got my toothbrush wet. Now I just need to put some toothpaste on it, on it and uh, get cleaning my teeth. So I'm going to suck the water off it because where else would it go? Nice wet toothbrush. Grab some toothpaste. We just use standard toothpaste in space. Squeeze a little on. Not too much because you're going to have to clean it up later. Okay, so there's my toothpaste on my toothbrush. It's wet. It's ready to go. It's loaded. Brush my teeth just like normal. Get them all, especially the ones in the back. You should brush your teeth for about as long as you can sing happy birthday. That should be long enough. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I've got a mouthful of toothpaste stuff, I've got a dirty toothbrush. So what I do is I just swallow the toothpaste. It's edible, won't kill you. And what else am I going to do? Put it in a rag and have a dirty rag? Doesn't make any sense. So uh, in space, you don't swallow your toothpaste. It leaves my toothbrush just a little bit dirty, so I need to find where my water went and rinse it out. Fortunately, things are weightless, so things don't go too far. So here's my water again. So now I'll uh, get a little water in my mouth. Rinse out my toothbrush. So I have a relatively clean, slightly damp toothbrush to put back in my toothbrush case. Uh, the toothpaste is hung back on the wall. We communally share one toothpaste tube, just like living in a dormitory. And I still have good water to drink. And. Uh, it doesn't go up your nose. There's nothing to push it up your nose. It just floats, so, uh, so it works fine. That's how you brush your teeth in space. In order to make it comfortable for the astronauts, originally they were going to put us all in one habitation module with sleep stations all around it. But the way a station was eventually built, we have sleep stations inside node 2, which is in the forward part of the station, and inside the service module, which is in the aft. A total of six small bedrooms, sleep stations, or sleep pods. And inside each one is just a sleeping bag. 
tied to the wall. You might think it's uncomfortable not having a mattress and a pillow, but without gravity, of course, you don't need anything to hold you up. You can just completely relax. And you don't even need a pillow. In space, you don't even have to hold your head up. So you can relax every muscle in your body and your arms float up in front of you, your head tips forward. But before I go to sleep, I gotta put on my pajamas because I have space jammies. I'll be right back. Great, I'm in my super comfy Russian full-length pajamas. Nice for when you have to get up in the middle of the night and uh, ready to go to bed. I'll show you where I sleep. This is my sleep station, my sleep pod. This is uh, where I spend up to eight hours every day here on board the space station. It's actually on the floor, but uh, once you're inside, you just can't tell. <laughs> 